I got the moves. I got the moves. Oh, I'm making moves. You gotta move. You gotta make the city move. Like, whoa. I make the city move. I got the move. Lonzo, Leangelo, Lamelo, Lavar, basketball. All these words and names relate to the Ball family, one of the hottest topics of the last year. But it seems as of recent that the hype and noise from the Ball family has fallen off a lot, especially compared to its amount last year. In today's video, I will be looking through the Ball family's journey and some possible reasons on why the hype for the family and its NBA hopes has suddenly halted in its tracks. If you're new here and enjoy the video, be sure to subscribe for more NBA content. But with that being said, let's talk about the Ball family. Let's go back to where this whole thing started. It's 2015 and the Chino Hills basketball team with all three Ball brothers, Melo, Jello and Lonzo were appearing on the national stage for one of their first times ever. Their matchup was against the number one team in the country, Montverde, which featured the projected first overall pick for the upcoming NBA draft, RJ Barrett, and future Portland Trailblazer, Anthony Simons. Not a lot was expected from Chino Hills, but boy, did they show up. They would end up winning by a point, and Lonzo would finish with 29 points and 6 assists, and Leangelo would have a 32-point game. Everyone had now seen the Ball brothers in action, and a lot of people were excited for their future. This game had put them on the map. High school wasn't the only thing though that helped the Ball family grow into an internet and basketball phenom. It was Lonzo's amazing season at UCLA too. A lot of people thought Lonzo couldn't succeed with his ugly jump shot, but Lonzo was starting to prove people wrong. His shooting splits were above average and he was playing at a really high level. He was making all his teammates better. You could really see it out there. This again upped his hype, leading to one of the greatest videos ever made. Meet Lonzo Ball, Steph Curry with a 40 inch vertical. This excitement gave Lonzo's dad, LeVar Ball, a lot of attention too, and he used it really well to gain more attraction to his family. As we should know, he's gone on many sports shows, mainly ESPN, and made some ridiculous claims, saying he could beat Michael Jordan, and that Lonzo was already better than Steph Curry, etc. He had a couple of shouting spats with Stephen A. Smith, which got the whole sporting world talking, and it was really entertaining to the fans. This gave more attention to the family and built up the base of fans. Then, Lonzo Ball dropped his $500 shoe for the family-owned brand, Big Baller Brand. These crazy things just gave more press to the Ball family, and as some people say, all press is good press. So even though some of the attention was hatred towards the family, it was all working for LeVar and his plan to get all three of his sons drafted to the LA Lakers. The peak of the Ball family was draft night 2017, where Lonzo Ball was drafted second overall to the Los Angeles Lakers. LeVar's plan had worked so far, and there was so much more potential for the other two brothers to make it to the NBA as well. But as it turned out, there was also a lot of potential for it to go wrong. And it did. The first thing that stuffed up LeVar's plan and caused the epic downfall of the Ball family starts off in November of 2017, when Leangelo Ball and two other teammates were caught stealing from a Louis Vuitton store in China. This not only gave the Ball brother a bad reputation, but it pretty much ruined his chances of making the NBA through college as a one and done, due to his potential suspension. This would lead to a bunch of terrible decisions, which I'll get onto a little bit later. During this time, Lonzo had been having a couple of rough months as an NBA player. He wasn't living up to the high expectations placed on him, thanks to his father, and there were lots of people calling him a bust. His NBA debut was below average. Overall, people just weren't happy with his performance so far, and this wasn't helping him in the fall down of the Big Baller brand family. With this going on, LeVar was still trying to keep his name in the conversation, so he made an extremely irrational decision. He was pulling Leangelo out of college and Lamelo out of high school, and was taking them to Lithuania, where they would play basketball. This seemed like an okay plan at the time. Lamelo was ineligible for college anyway after creating his own shoe, and Leangelo was suspended, so sending them overseas looked like a good option to make them eligible for the NBA draft. But things would not work out at all. Reports came out saying that the two barely practiced or cared, particularly Lamelo, and both plays didn't perform too well over there either, only averaging around 10 to 20 points per game each. They weren't even playing top level, they were in the third division. 
the stock was falling significantly for each player. Leangelo was dropping in and out of the second round, whilst Lamelo fell from a lottery pick to barely a first rounder. Things weren't looking good, and they just got worse when the two returned back to the States. The Lithuanian team they played on talked badly about them to the media on their poor worth ethic, cockiness, and overall bad behavior there, and that they were thankful that they were off the team. The 2017-18 season would end and right around the corner was the NBA draft, and it looked like Leangelo might just sneak in, most mock drafts having him between the 40th and 60th pick. But in the end, Leangelo would not get drafted, and no team would sign him. I'm not sure why, but he also declined to try out for the Lakers G League team and decided to play in the JBA. The JBA, oh man, what a disaster. I won't go into too much detail here, but it's been covered a ton recently, but I'll give a quick summary. First, people thought it was a joke, they thought it might be a good idea, but Lavar simply promised too much. Apparently, he didn't play players, no one watched any of the games, and it's no surprise but the Los Angeles Ballers, with Lamelo and somehow Leangelo on the team too, won the championship. People kind of got the idea that it was rigged, and all of these combined just ruined the reputation of the family. And finally, we come into this season, where Leangelo is nowhere close to being an NBA player, Lamelo's draft stock is falling, and Lonzo recently got benched for Rondo. And now, all of a sudden, Lavar's name is not in the media anymore. You don't hear him talking like he did when Lonzo was in college, none of that. It's sad to see a young family with so much potential to go far, but a few dumb decisions ruined all of that, and now, who knows where they are now. I think Lamelo and Leangelo are playing for the USA JBA team or something, but no one's really talking about it, so who knows. It's just crazy to see such a big fall of grace in such a short period of time, but in the end, the Ball family have just bit off a bit more than they can chew. But what do you guys think of this? Can the Ball family revive their hype, or will they stay in the shadows? Will Lamelo or Leangelo ever make the NBA? Why or why not? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop it a like and subscribe. But with that being said, I am out. Peace.